Hi guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. Today we're going to unbox and do a performance review of the AMD's Radeon R7 series SSD. Yes, you've heard us right, Radeon series SSD from AMD. You may wonder why did AMD decide to do an SSD, but we're pretty convinced that they didn't do it because of the profit, but rather to somewhat complete the portfolio of products which they offer, so they can for example easily showcase a rig based all on AMD parts. Recently they introduced their RAM and now SSD, soon they'll have all the necessary components with their AMD brand name on it. All they need now after this is their own power supply. Looking at the front of the box you can see the SSD itself, combined in with the overall design of the box and that eye poking Radeon R7 series writing which sounds weird with the SSD word in the same sentence. On the right bottom corner you can see the capacity of this model, which in our case was the 240GB one and the SATA 3 interface support. Going around the box you can see the first glimpse on who OEMs these drives for AMD and the answer is OCZ. Right above that you can see a brief performance overview of three available capacity models ranging from 120GB to 480GB. Above that you can see some features overview like the very interesting and first time seen 4 year warranty which could attract a lot of potential customers and on the right side some multilingual product introductions. Opening up the box you'll get some user manuals. 3.5 inch bay adapter bracket, screws for installing the drive on it, and the SSD itself. Construction wise the case is practically the same as the rest of the current OCZ SSD portfolio. Rounded edges, smooth aluminum chassis, but the outer design is quite different with this completely black design with some subtle designer cues and a big AMD logo with a mention of the Radeon solid state drive series in the middle of it. On the back of the drive you can see that usual big declaration sticker with OCZ logo on it and the open view on that SATA 3 6 gigabit per second interface. As we were interested to see what exactly hardware-wise makes this drive to run, we have allowed ourselves to disassemble the drive and take a peek inside it. Opening up the case and looking under the hood of the drive you can see the OCZ Intellix Barefoot 3 controller in its faster M00 revision and higher clock speeds compared to the M10 revision seen in the OCZ ARC 100. Beside that they have the same Toshiba's A1919 nm NAND flash and a chunk of 256MB Micron DRAM. Putting together all these parts that make this SSD model to test and benchmark, we get pretty decent performance results, similar to ones that Vector150 provides, even better in some areas. We are pretty impressed with write speeds across the board and how the drive dealt with uncompressed and compressed data handling. Thank you guys once again for checking out our unboxing and performance review of the AMD's Radeon R7 series SSD. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you liked our video, leave a comment if you have any questions about our product and of course be sure to subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel for more content like this or you can just check out our other videos from before.